Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for the collective. So no matter what your sun, moon, rising sign is, or any sign in your chart is collective, this reading may or may not resonate for you. But either way, collective, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just Whoever in your heart collective is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started here, please keep in mind that this is and will be a general reading for your sign collective, so it may or may not resonate for you here specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, let's see what we have going on for you at this time when it comes to love, please. What do we need to know for the collective here? And what is this energy that they're walking into? Who is this person? All right, collective. So we have three messages so far. What else is the collective experiencing soon or at this time? And what do they need to be aware of, please? All right, Collective, let's go ahead and start with what we have so far. Of course, we'll have some more messages yet to come. First, we have, I believe in the perfect moment. You're everything I've ever wanted. You will soon find out everything. We can't keep going in circles. When I see you, I see happiness all around. When I see you, I see happiness all around. And I have faith in how things will go with us. Okay, Collective. It seems like you already know this person. And I feel like it could feel bittersweet moving forward within this connection because of inconsistencies or there's been ups and downs. And you would like for the best to occur, but because of the pattern or the history, the repetition that you face with this person you don't know how things will play out and that's the thing we when it comes to anything the future is out of our control there's only so much we we can know if even but i feel like basically if this person were to be consistent if they were to be solid and reliable then you would have a lot more faith here Let's just get into our first message. We have, I have faith in how things will go with us. I feel like this is the energy and the momentum that you have been upholding between you and this person here. And it's like our worries, our doubts, our fears, it could bring us down, of course, <laughs> collective. But sometimes when you have that positive outlook, like, oh, things can be different in the future. That could make you feel better energetically or not make you stop in your tracks. But at the same time, just being realistic about how things are unfolding. How do you feel? It's okay not to feel okay about something collective. But I feel like you've been trying your best to be optimistic here. When I see you, I see happiness all around. So I do feel like when you connect with this person, it could feel for a brief moment like the problems, the issues that you are experiencing. Not that they don't matter, but it's like when we do have good moments, when we are in sync, when we are both individually present for one another, then what's the reason to focus on what has gone wrong, if that makes sense, collective? So I do feel like the heart and the love that you have for this person here it could be changed just by this person coming through or being more consistent. It's like you don't want to hold grudges towards this person. You don't want to blame them or 
you want them to take accountability, but after they take accountability, let's move forward. Let's, let's really put both of our best foot forward here because we can't keep going in circles. It's taxing for you collective. And it's like, if you want this to amount to something more or something more long-term or solid commitment, this isn't going to work. And say you were to just put up with this energy collective. Over time, you might just think or stop and observe within, like, what am I doing here? What's the purpose of this? Like, if you find or if you allow yourself to be complacent with low level or low level or the bare minimum, it's like you're you're doing yourself a disservice collective. So maybe there has been a recent change in how you approach this connection because you don't want to make yourself so available for this person to just not be sure about the energy that they put in here. We do have your everything I've ever wanted. This could go both ways, your collective. Just try your best to make sure or as always, do what you want to do, do what you feel collective, but it shouldn't be a case where you're everything I've ever wanted. Let me save you for later. Let me keep you on the line until I'm ready. It's like, for example, it could be easier to call someone back instead of answering another call on the line and they have you waiting for like, two hours like that's unacceptable so don't don't save me for later but also don't come back to me when it's convenient for you so you're everything I've ever wanted if if you are open collective depending on how you feel towards this we have I believe in the perfect moment so it's like I'm going to release myself from this connection Perhaps when the time is right, if the love is real, we'll we will work it out at a later time here. So you could feel like divine timing can take its place and heal this. We do have, you will soon find out everything. So for some of my collective, maybe it's been some time since you last were in communication with this person. So let's see what else we have going on for the collective here. Last but not least. What else for the collective? All right, so collective, we have four more messages. We have lie to me, you'll lose all my respect. Don't dismiss the red flags. Next, I'm so in love with you. This is the best I have ever felt. And I know we're not perfect, but how do we get to this? I know we're not perfect, but how do we get to this? So collective. Let's start with, I know we're not perfect, but how do we get to this? I feel like you may have reached that point where you're just tired. You're, you're done. You're, it's like no more tears left to cry, that type of feeling. And it's good to cry it out, you know, and that's not good for you collective. So it's like you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're standing up for yourself by just protecting yourself from this energy so I know we're not perfect but how do we get to this and it's unfortunate because I'm so in love with you this is the best I have ever felt take this how it resonates perhaps it was just that interest or maybe it was less could have been true love that you felt towards this person but you're choosing yourself over this person and their destructive habits or their their tendencies which is good for you we have lied to me, you'll lose all my respect. This could have been a factor within this connection here. This person, it could have been like a, a verbal like lie, like they lied to your face, but maybe you just don't trust this person anymore because they said that they would do this, but they don't, or they'll change, they'll be different. But it's like, why would you say that to me? multiple times perhaps and nothing has ever changed like do you think this is a game or do you take me seriously and don't dismiss the red flag so 
if there has been red flags, don't dismiss them because that could help let you know what to expect moving forward. Not saying it, it will happen, but the red flags can foreshadow what is yet to come. Let's see what situations, oracle messages. We have pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. Perhaps this person coming back into your energy will keep that message right there. Another message for the collective, please. What else might we need to know? One more, please. Okay, so collective. Let's get into what we have. We have gossip, petty, jealousy, envy. I feel like this could lead into just any toxic energy, things that aren't conducive. Maybe there was talk from other people that did not sit well with you about this connection or other people in your business with this person. We have wish, hope, praying, yearning. So I feel like this could have been your energy collective, like just wanting things to work out so much that you're trying to manifest it or you're believing in it. But sometimes when something feels like it's not working out, that doesn't mean it's not meant for us, but it could also, I feel at least like maybe it's not the time, maybe it's not the way to do it. Also, considering it's not just you in this connection, it's this, it's this person, so it's not all on you here, collective. We have denial, not facing truth, irrational reasoning. So this reminds me of like rose-colored lenses. So pay attention to how you feel, how this person treats you. If you feel like you're being respected, seen, heard, and we have desire. So we have lust sexual chemistry so i did mention the word lust collective is it love or lust maybe you want it to amount to love but it keeps resisting we have libra as our first sign could be dealing with the libra the second role was also libra we have sagittarius libra sagittarius and sagittarius again and Gemini. So could be done with the Gemini Collective, Sagittarius, Libra, or any sign. But that is all that I have for today. As always, I do appreciate the love and support. Taurus and Cancer's readings will be posted later. But as always, thank you again, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.